were making a cherry jewelry box, I could come back and have a piece of cherry veneer that I glue right on top of uh, a solid piece of cherry. You can put veneer on solid wood. I mean, we've been doing it for centuries and centuries and centuries. The only key is you've got to be certain that the grain of the veneer is going the same way as the grain of the solid wood underneath, or at least the body of the solid wood underneath is going the same way as this, the body of the veneer on top. So I need to cut this in. I don't want to take this and do an inlay technique. We now know my definition of inlay. I don't want to try to cut a cavity and put this into a piece. But by setting it on top of this piece of veneer, if I need to, I have access to both sides of my veneer when I go to knife it. So my inlaying technique will be much easier. So I'll just tape it right down, however I want it to go. do since I've taped this onto that piece is uh, I'm just going to put my knife right up against the edge and follow all the way around, cut this shape out of the piece underneath. This piece on top will fall right in and then again I'll have one piece of veneer. But, but it, it has many different ways it could fit in after I cut it. So I need to mark between the two so I get it back in the same way. And from here I'll just put my knife right up against the edge of my veneer. I'll cut right through the masking tape. And I'll cut all the way around. Are you trying to get all the way through your bottom? No. Nope. Scoring? I'm scoring the first one. And I'll go through it a second time and a third time if I need to. Now, you want to be certain on this that you uh, you try to keep your knife up against the edge. If, if your knife cuts through the piece on top and the piece underneath, that's not a big deal because you're making a mirror cut in both. And they'll um, fit perfectly. But if your knife pulls away from your edge, then you'll end up with a gap there. So if you want to use a straight edge to realign this, you can certainly put your straight edge back on top and use it as your guide. I'll just follow around right off the edge. If you cut a little bit beyond your line, nobody will ever know. If you cut a lot beyond your line, then you've got a problem. One more cut here, and I haven't done the best job in the world going around this. Okay, so let me take off the veneer tape. Remember, we only want veneer tape on one side, or blue tape, or anytime there's tape. We don't want it on both sides. So I'm going to take all the tape off this side. Since I use this tape to hold it down, but all the majority of the tape's on the other side, I'll go ahead and peel off this tape as well. Okay, we'll probably have to play a little bit of connect the dots here. I can see up here in this top corner. I'm not quite there yet. I know how to put this back in because we used a pencil to mark them before. We always have to put the veneer tape on the side, or the blue tape. So I'll flip it over. That should just snap right into that hole. Let me ask you, go back to something One piece. you said before, you know, that you could put that over a solid piece of cherry. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, granted, okay, this, this cherry is going to move about the same as the solid cherry below it, but what about these other woods that are running at different, are these little pieces going to make any difference? Um, probably not, and there's a couple of ways around that. First of all, if you use a resin glue, it, it, it literally is going to, turn them both into the same thing. Whatever this does on the top, it's going to pretty much, whatever the core does, it's going to take that with it. Um, you shouldn't have any problem at all. Good kiln dried lumber, what we're talking about putting on, not air dried lumber, make a big difference. Um, wider yellow glue, it'll hold up pretty well. If this gets to be a whole lot bigger than this, then we're going to have some issues. But at this size, we're probably going to be okay.
Let's put about a bag of veneers. Anything, anything that you veneer needs to be veneered on both sides. Solid wood, particle board, MDF, drywall, it doesn't matter what your core material is, you veneer both sides. Keep it balanced. If you don't, it's going to smiley face on you.